Now, if I go over into SketchUp, I've already got the first file open that we're going to work with. And that file is the file titled Advanced CAD. Now there's a little V6 at the end of that. You'll notice mine's a little bit different. Mine says V7. I actually did a save as and back saved this file to version 6 so that if you happen to still be working in version 6, you can still open the file. Um, this way everyone can open it, whether you're in version 6 or version 7. Since I'm in version 7, I'm using the version 7 um, file that I've got here on my machine. When it comes to talking about working in SketchUp with CAD files, there are actually uh, two big options. You've got the option to export CAD files from SketchUp, and then you've got the option to import CAD files into SketchUp. Typically, at least with our process, when we're working on a design for a project, we're going to start out in SketchUp and sketch. We're going to come up with a 3D sketch of an idea, and then at a certain point, we'll export sections and plans and elevations of our SketchUp model so that we can go into CAD and work on those drawings um, and get them at the level of a typical construction documentation set. So we're going to take a look at that process first. We're going to start out with a model that's already been created, then cut a bunch of CAD drawings out of it and export them. Imagine that we've you know, worked in CAD for a little bit, and then later on we'll import those CAD files back into SketchUp and show that process as well in case your process um, involves working in CAD first and then working in SketchUp later. So we're going to kind of cover both ways to go about it. So over in SketchUp, you'll notice that in the file there's a little scene tab up at the top that we set up. It just says start here. Um, now, if your computer is a little bit slower or a little bit older, you might want to turn the shadows off. There's a little radio button for shadows up at the top toolbar. Um, SketchUp will work a little bit faster if you've got the shadows turned off. And then orbit around and zoom out. The first thing that we want to take a look at are ways of getting the SketchUp model set up so that we can actually export scaled CAD drawings from the model. So let's take an example of exporting an exterior elevation. Up at the top of the screen, there are a bunch of standard preset views of your SketchUp model. And you'll notice as you cycle through those views that no matter what view you click on, even though you might be looking directly at the side of the SketchUp model, you're still looking at the model in perspective view. And anyone who's ever tried to scale a perspective drawing knows that it's impossible. There's no such thing as a scaled perspective drawing. So in order to get scaled drawings out of SketchUp, the first thing that we need to do is turn the perspective off. If you go up to the top of the screen under the camera menu, you'll see the option there for perspective. There's a little check mark next to it. That means that the perspective is currently turned on. But the perspective is kind of like a toggle. If we uncheck perspective, now we're in a flat orthographic projection view of that elevation. And if we cycle through some of the different preset views, such as plan and the various elevations, now we know that since we're looking at this model dead on with the perspective turned off, we'll end up having the option to export these drawings in 2D to scale out as a CAD format.